Hey everyone, this is Mel Balsamo. I am a software test engineer in Cadaver Software. Today I'll show you one of the most useful template parts that Cadaver created. It's called the Zero ActiveX Contact Selector XTP. We may all be familiar with the out of the box contact selector control. It uses ActiveX technologies, which is fine but would require all users to install the control on their machines. Not to mention, it doesn't work in browser-enabled forms if the users are using Internet Explorer. Most of us would also want to be able to select and add multiple contacts, which isn't just possible with the out-of-the-box contact selector, not without code. As a solution to all those limitations, Cadabra created its own contact selector. It is a template part and therefore easy to add in your forms via the Info Path Designer. It uses Q rules which lets you add features that require code without having to write it yourself. Simply inject Q rules in your form and call the commands via rules. We've designed it for you, nice and simple, just drag and drop from your task pane. Most of all, it is non-ActiveX. No need to install in client machines. It does work with browser-enabled forms. And hey, we can add multiple contacts using it without code. Now I'm going to show you how it works. I have my form template opened in InfoPath design mode. I've already injected Q rules as well as the QD contact selector template part right here. This is how the layout looks. Let's go ahead and preview our form template. We're in preview mode as you can see it's pretty straightforward, nice and simple. We're going to go ahead and search for users. So just type in the partial name in here. Let's search for admin and then tab out. In here I've returned a list of users in my active directory containing the search string that I used, which is admin. Now these little arrows are buttons that have rules calling the Q rules insert and set value commands. Clicking on those simply allows me to select contacts which are then copied over onto a list right here. I can even delete users as I wish using these buttons which call the Q rules delete command. That's how it works in InfoPath. Now let me show you how it works in the browser. I've published my form as an admin approved template and made it available in my SharePoint site collection. I have it as a content type in this form library. Let's go ahead and open a new form. Here you'll see the same layout, nothing fancy. I want to search for specific users including myself, so let me type in my first name and tab out. I'll add myself in that list and search some more. Let's do one more. Now that I have these users in my list, there are a couple of ways how I can use them in my form. Workflow and permissions are good examples. I can tell my form to only allow these users to approve an expense report, for instance, or not allow them to even open any form in this library. The QD Contact Selector XTP can be useful and powerful in so many ways. To download the template part for free, visit our website www.kidaber.com, go to Products, Scroll down to the growing list of products until you see the InfoPath template part section. There's your Cadabra contact selector. Click more information and get your free download now. Once again, this is Mel Balsamo with Cadabra Software. Thank you for watching Cadabra Zero ActiveX contact selector XTP demo.